you have learned how to add and subtract fractions using fraction strips. Today, we are going to learn how to add and subtract fractions on a number line. Okay, here is a problem that I'm going to read to you. Sammy has six eighths jar of red paint. I'm going to just write this down. Six eighths jar of red paint. He uses two eighths of a jar on a model airplane. What fraction does he have left? So he's taking away, so we're obviously going to be subtracting. So he had six eighths of a jar and he took away or subtracted two eighths. Okay? Now, we have at this point been able to use the fraction strips to help us do that. So I could model by saying one, two, three, four, five, six eighths of a jar of red paint. Then he took away two eighths of that. So there's one eighth, two eighths. So how much does he have left? He has one, two, three, four, four eighths jar of red paint. Now I know that Javion is asking me right now, can this be reduced? And to Javion, I say yes. Let's look at that for just a second. Four eighths is broken into four and eight. Let's look at the factors of both of those. Two numbers that can be multiplied together to get four are one times four and two times two. Numbers that can be multiplied together to get eight are one and eight, two, and four. Numbers that they have in common, other than one, because one doesn't really count, two. So now, uh, I'm going to divide by two on both of them. This is super easy because I already have the fact family here. So four divided by two equals two. And eight divided by two equals four. So there's a reduced fraction to two fourths. However, Javion is asking again, can two fourths be reduced? And again, to Javion, I say yes. So let's look at those numbers again and look at their factors. Two and four. Okay, well, numbers I can multiply to get two are one times two. And on four, I have one times four and two times two. All right, beautiful. Two numbers that I see they have in common are, other than one because one doesn't count, I see they both have twos. All right, so I'm going to divide both of those by two. Super simple. I've already got my fact families going here. So two divided by two equals one. And four divided by two equals so, three equivalent fractions, say that word with me, equivalent, oh, wonderful, means equal. Three equivalent fractions, four-eighths, two-fourths, one-half. Nice. Okay, back to what we were originally doing now. We have been learning how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators by using fraction strips. Well, another very simple way to do this is to use a number line. So again, I'm going to write that problem because I know we all need to hear it again. Sammy has six-eighths of a jar of red paint. He uses two-eighths of a jar of red paint. 
how much does he have left? All right, well, I'm going to create myself a little fraction strip here. This is 0. This is 1. Uh, now we need to break this into 8 parts. All right, so I'm going to first start by breaking it into 2 parts. That's not really even. Let's try that again. All right, so there's one half. All righty. And um, my next number is, I'm going to break this into fourths. All right, by breaking each of those apart. So now I have one fourth and three fourths. Okay. And now I'm going to break this into eighths. So I'm going to divide each one of these four into its own. So, mm, mm, mm. okay. And uh, so this is going to be one eighth. This then becomes two. Here, I want to put that on top actually so you can see it better. And all right, so this is one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, whoop, which we already talked about is equivalent to one half, very nice, uh, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths, which we all know is one whole, fantastic. All right, so now here we are. I'm going to switch and get a big, nice, bright red color so that you can see it since he's using red paint. And I'm going to mark six eighths, which is right there. Beautiful. And I'm going to be taking away, so I'm going to be going not forward, no, because I'm subtracting. So I'm going to be going backwards by two. I'm not going all the way to two eighths, no. I'm just going back two. So one, oh, I don't know what I've just done there. Hold on. I'm going to go one, two. A little lovely. And that gives me a fraction of four eighths, which I already talked about. And reduced to one half. Very nice. Okay. Today's lesson in Envision is not only about how to use a number line to help you add and subtract fractions, but it's more about being able to look look at a number line and then create a um, a problem, a number sentence based on fractions. So uh, before we get started on that, just here's here's just one more quick example. Here's a number line from one to zero. Um, for, excuse me, from zero to one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the points and I'm going to first determine what is my denominator that I'm working with. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So right now I see that I'm working with sixteenths. All right. Um, my first point. Let me uh, do it in a color so that you can see, other than black. Uh, let's just say I have a point here, and then I have a point here, and I have, I don't know, a point here. All right. Now I'm going to draw some arrows showing which way I'm going. I just happen to be going backwards. Some in your textbook will be going forwards. Um, but now I'm able to then kind of start figuring out my problem. So I first need to just figure out where am I starting. Um, so again, I'm going to count. I have one, two, oh, excuse me, that's zero. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I know I'm starting at twelve sixteenths. So my pink is not the same color, which is going to drive me crazy. All right, so here we go, twelve sixteenths. There we go. Um, I am going backwards. So I know I'm going to be subtracting, and I'm subtracting by one, two, three sixteenths. Okay, and uh, if I were to just look at that, twelve minus three is nine sixteenths. 
So in theory, this should be 9 sixteenths. Let's just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, very nice. That looks kind of crazy. Uh, fix that. Oops, 9 sixteenths. All right. And then I am, again, going back. So I am then going, oops, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I am, again, going going backwards, 5 sixteenths, so I'm subtracting 5 sixteenths, coming to an ending point. In theory, this is 9 minus 5, so this in theory should be 4 sixteenths. So let's just double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, yep. Perfect. So, my written equation is 12 sixteenths, minus 3 sixteenths minus 5 sixteenths equals 4 sixteenths. Okay, um, this was kind of a long one, but um, I think it did the trick. Let's just go ahead and try and reduce this because I know that it's being asked. Can 4 sixteenths be reduced? And the answer is yes. All right, let's find out how by first identifying the factors. So I have factors of 4 and factors of 16. Uh, I can multiply 1 times 4 or 2 times 2. Here I can do 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and uh, I can do 4 times 4. Okay, uh, I, I've got a couple that I can choose from here, which is actually really nice. I can do fours in both, or I can do twos in both. Uh, I'm going to tell you something that we're going to look for when you have more than one is the greatest common factor. Love that. Sounds like a superhero. The greatest common factor. All right, so let's just go with fours. All right, um, 4, I'm going to divide both by 4. Okay, this greatest common factor is a 5th grade term, so you, your teachers next year will be so happy that you know it. The greatest common factor of 4 and 16 is 4. So we're going to take 4 divided by 4 equals 1. And we're going to take 16 divided by 4 and that is 4. So the smallest reduced fraction that you can come up with is 1 fourth. Thank you for coming today to this inspiring lesson on adding and subtracting number line, adding and subtracting fractions using a number line.